structural de Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Midnight now here in Cairo and this is a new edition of Panorama News. In the upcoming 35 minutes we'll be bringing you the latest of the political, economic and sports news from all around the world. I'm Haini Saif, I'll be your host for tonight and we'll start off with the political news where President Abdel Fattah Sisi arrived home on Tuesday after attending a tripartite summit with his Cypriot counterpart Nikos Anastasidas and the Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis in the Greek capital Athens, where the three sides probed a number of regional developments of mutual concern. On the sidelines of the summit, President Sisi witnessed the signing of a number of memos of understanding that aimed to foster ties among the three countries in various domains. Before heading home, President Abdel Fattah Sisi attended in the Greek capital Athens a three-way summit with his Cypriot counterpart Nikos Anastasiadis and Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis, which tackled the latest developments in a number of regional issues of mutual concern. Speaking at a press conference following the meeting that brought together Cairo, Athens and Nicosia, President Sisi further said the three countries had stressed their support to Libyan elections to take place according to schedule. On Syria, the head of state asserted that the three parties back the unity and sovereignty of Syrian lands. President Sisi noted that the three-party electricity interconnection project is a step to connection with all Europe. During the press conference, the Greek Prime Minister said Egypt can play a pivotal role in the European energy security. He said cooperation in renewable energy was on the agenda of the talks, adding that they had agreed on condemning Turkish attitudes. The Greek Prime Minister said developments in Libya impact the whole region, adding that there was agreement on backing the democratic transformation in Libya. For his part, the Cypriot president said Turkish stance with regards to Cyprus was discussed, stressing backing for a united Cypriot state. President Sisi had started a visit to the Greek capital with a meeting with the Greek Premier, during which he held strong ties with Greece and continuous cooperation at the political, military and trade fronts. The President stressed his keenness on activating cooperation frameworks on the bilateral level and on the tripartite cooperation mechanism level. For his part, the Greek Prime Minister said the visit comes within the framework of special ties between Cairo and Athens. He said Greece is looking forward to expanding bilateral cooperation and boosting the tripartite mechanism, giving the role Egypt is playing as a cornerstone for stability in the Middle East and its efforts in the fight against terrorism and illegal immigration. Countering the impact of the coronavirus as well as cooperation in the fields of tourism, agriculture, fisheries, energy and natural gas topped the agenda of the talks. The Middle East peace process, developments in Libya and Ethiopia's dam were also discussed during the meeting. Meanwhile, talks between Presidents Sisi and Anastasiades centered on bilateral ties and a number of regional issues of mutual concern, including the latest developments in Libya and Ethiopia's dam. Presidential spokesman Bassam Raji said the head of state hailed distinguished relations that bind Egypt with Cyprus, stressing his keenness on activating the tripartite cooperation mechanism. President Sisi stressed that regional developments and challenges in the Middle East region dictate the need for continuous cooperation. For his part, the Cypriot president praised ties with Egypt, stressing that more steps need to be taken to strengthen bilateral relations. He expressed his appreciation for Cairo's support to the Cypriot issue with the new end resolutions and hailed Cairo's efforts to combat illegal immigration and terrorism. President Anastasiades said electrical interconnection between Egypt and Cyprus was discussed along with finalizing the pipelines project that links the Cypriot Averodot gas field with the Egyptian liquidation stations before exporting to European markets. The ninth round of the summit, which comes within the framework of cooperation mechanism the three parties launched since 2014, aims to build upon what has been achieved in the past eight rounds. It evaluates developments in various cooperation fields and expanding dialogue over means of facing challenges in the Middle East and the East Mediterranean regions.
Minister of Defence Lieutenant General Mohammed Zeki witnessed on Tuesday combat readiness procedure by a unit of the Second Field Army, where he was accompanied by Chief of Staff General Mohammed Farid and several senior military commanders. The procedure started with presenting the combat efficiency report of the military unit, showing the latest arms upgrade witnessed by the unit. The minister inspected the Ixchalanda. Uh, troops to check their readiness and capability to carry out the different tasks, whether in fighting terrorism or implementing development works. Under the auspices of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, Egypt Government Excellence Awards was announced on Tuesday in the presence of Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli, Minister of Planning and Economic Development Hera Said, and several ministers and guests of honor from the United Arab Emirates. The ceremony witnessed the announcement of the names of three winners in each categories of the award, the first which was the Individual Excellence Award, which includes the best government employee, the best work team. The, there were also the Institutional Innovation and Creativity Awards, Distinguished Sites in Providing Government Services Award, the Distinguished Leaders Awards and the awards for the Distinguished Unit in Providing Government Services as well as the Distinguished Institute Award. Minister Said said the awards come in light of the Sustainable Development Plan Egypt Vision 2030 which requires the formation of an efficient, effective, court-appointed administrative body that contributes to achieving development and response to citizens. The minister asserted that believing in the role of the government in achieving goals of the reform orientation adopted by the government to advance the state, the Ministry of Planning and Economic Development was keen to make a quantitative leap in institutional performance through the Egypt Award for Governmental Excellence. She added that the awards are aimed at developing human capabilities through the presence of a national award for government excellence that promotes an atmosphere of positive, effective and constructive competition.